that one. What's up, everybody? I'm here on a bus right now, heading to Ziba Kira, the Seoul Cathedral, with my friend EJ. What's up, guys? What's up? So, supposedly, it's about an hour out from Bogota. This morning, we took the Transmilenio to the north bus station of Bogota. And now we're in the bus heading out there. So I've never been there before. Um, EJ's never been there before. This is my first time being in Bogota in a while. And I forget how cool of a city it is. It's really, the temperature, it's cold. It's really a little, it's a really hip urban city. There's a lot going on, a lot of people, a lot of fashion, a lot of food, a lot of everything here. So just to give you guys a little bit of history of Zipaquira Sol Cathedral, Pretty sure it was carved by hand in like the Middle Ages or something. And there's a lot of crosses. So it's some kind of holy place, I believe. And that's pretty much all I know. I haven't really done any research at all. I've just seen pictures. That's just me you know, making my own judgments and my own assumptions. But I'm guessing that the place is very old. I have no idea how long it's been around for. All right, so what's up, guys? I'm here with my boy, Ryan. Are you recording me? Uh -oh. I'm recording you? <laughs> so weird. OK. So we're going to the Salt Cathedral. Where is it located again? Zipaquera. Zipaquera. If I'm pronouncing that like right. That. Something like that. I don't know. I don't know either. Uh, anyway, supposedly it's a, a Roman Catholic church that's built underground. And I believe it's about 220 yards underground. Exactly, 220 yards exactly. Something like that. Um, it's, it's actually one mile underground. It's a football field underground. It's more than a football field. There's an indoor soccer stadium underground in the Salt Cathedral. That's what I heard. Yeah. Professional soccer players go there every weekend. I don't believe that they have a bishop that goes there every Sunday. So we're making our video logs now, and the one lady, she's collecting money and she's looking at us. She's, she's looking at us. My boy Ryan is making his vlog. And I'm making my vlog. We're making our vlogs. There's EJ right there. This lady, she's collecting money. I don't think she can speak English. Um, I don't know. I think um, a lot of people here don't speak a little bit. No, nobody can speak English. This bus is making me dizzy with all this shit. Um, what actually happened, I'm going to tell you a story, last night... <laughs> Look at last night, oh my god! Oh my night, god, last my night! My boy Ryan took me out to this uh, strip in Santa Fe. I don't know where it was. Anyways, we're, we're sitting down, we're having a couple of drinks. Just, you know, having a good time. Because it's a Monday night, so not many people are out. Anyways, there's this group of girls that are sitting on a chair. And uh, so they, they want Ryan to come over, so Ryan goes over. And this girl starts groping Ryan, like starts grabbing his balls. And before this, Ryan was like, if a girl grabs your balls, be careful because she's going to try to take your phone. So when she grabbed his balls, I thought she was going to take his or my phone. So I quickly like went to grab my phone. But then she just started to rub it a little bit more. And then a little bit after that, Ryan got a little mad, so he just mooned everybody. He, he pulled on his pants and he full, like his ass was out. <laughs> his ass was in front of everybody, and uh, it was, it was <laughs> a little gross, but... It was the best night of my life. The best night of his life. Pretty much what happened was she kept grabbing my ass and grabbing my ass and I tried to walk away and she wouldn't let me. So I was like, all right, you want to see my ass? You want to see my ass? So I just dropped my pants right there. Then they were all trying to spank me and stuff and it got really crazy. I had to get out of there. I felt very violated. <laughs> What's up guys? Um, so we're here at the entrance of the salt mine. We finally made it. We took about two hours from Bogota. So there's the entrance right there. And we're about to head in and see what the mines are like. So I don't know how deep they go or what they're about, but let's check it out. Hola, buenas. Por favor, tomen asiento en este costado y en siete minutos inicia el recorrido. Oh, listo. Okay. 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 Yes, Are you recording? Yeah. This is 
So we've been walking around the mines for maybe like an hour now and we're still, I still don't see the end. Oh, these tunnels are really just intricate. So the tunnels are, they have, they have these everywhere. So they're just filled with different kind of crosses. So we've been walking, I think we're getting to the main point of the, of the cathedral here. You can see these tunnels. There's like steps now that we got and we found we're just about to the main big blue cross. So I think we're here, we're gonna go down further and take a look. To the final, we made it to the final cross. Get the cross in the back. There 
So this is it. It's, it looks like some kind of chapel or some kind of altar where people prayed. Really mystical. A lot of they got the lights set up really cool in here. And this thing is actually gigantic. If I had to guess, I don't know, over a hundred feet. Pretty cool. So yeah, that's this is what it looks like here at the bottom. Look at that. And everything is carved out of salt, I believe. So that's what it looks like. Look at this place, it looks like something out of a like medieval times or something. And there's the cross. Wow. And yeah, again, this place, it's one hour out from Bogota. Zipaquira is the city. And just a few seconds ago, there was a bunch of people in here, and now it all cleared out, and nobody's in here. I don't know where everybody, I don't know where anybody, everybody went. They're gone. So guys, so that's it. We made it through the tunnels, the salt mines. Here with EJ now, we're just finishing up the tour. Got some good footage, some good uh, photos, some good videos. Hope you guys enjoy. What do you think, EJ? How was it? You like uh, it? I thought it was awesome. Beautiful. Yeah, we're and it was like 10 bucks, 11 bucks. So yeah, we paid great deal. 30,000 pesos, so American like 10 bucks. Um, some really beautiful shots down there. Some really gorgeous things we did a little praying down there yeah we did some praying we prayed to the gods yeah i don't know which one but to one of them to one of them so all right hope you guys enjoyed the video i'll catch you guys later see you ciao ciao <laughs>